A day in the life in Mission Bay, San Diego. And just like that, we are back on the water. Sailing out, out of the bay is a different story where there's no one around, but when we're sailing around boats, it's a little nerve wracking for me. Just get anxious about it. Good morning. Woke up in Mission Bay this morning. It's a little chilly. It's the beginning of January. It's probably in the low 50s at night. And it's nice and crisp right now. It feels really good. So the sun's out. It's not many people out here. We're in Mariner's Cove. We're gonna go check out a little sailing regatta over in Mission Bay, the Mission Bay Yacht Club. Kids sailing around little sabots in the bay. Should be pretty entertaining. Let's go check it out. Who are you voting for? Who am I rooting for? Yeah, voting for, rooting for, whatever. <laughs> well, well, I guess I'm voting for Jack. And we're off. Got my regatta clown pants. <laughs> you ready? Yep. Sunny San Diego. And an hour. It's easy to grin when your ship comes in. Sailor Jack. A regatta. You're sailing in a regatta? Cool. First regatta. These are sabots. They're zippy little sailing dinghies made of either wood or fiberglass. A classic way to learn to sail and be free on the water, powered by the wind. We were so inspired by the magical little sabots, we decided to do some sailing of our own and practice close quarter sailing in light wind. We prepare the boat to sail, closing hatches, stowing things that like to move and swing when the boat heals. We turn the sailing instruments on and our starter battery. 
This switch allows us to isolate the starter battery from our house bank. We use it whenever we are at anchor or on a mooring so that our refrigerator, radio, anchor light, etc. doesn't drain the starter battery. We don't have a windlass. So Barrett pulls anchor while I get the boat facing into the wind and snugged up to the anchor chain drop line. I can keep us choked up on the chain, allowing Barrett to retrieve the anchor with as much help as the weight of the boat can provide. This is our snubber line. It's about 10 feet of line which we use to tie off the top of the anchor chain with a rolling hitch. This allows the boat to flex and give just a little to take some of the load off of the rigid chain. Untie the mainsail. Loosen the main halyard from the boom and connect it to the head of the mainsail. Hoist the main facing into the wind. Tighten the main halyard and secure it. Loosen the furler line and bring out the Genoa. We set off for some super slow-mo sailing. sailing. When was the last time we did this? It's been a while. <laughs> I don't know why. We thought we'd try something different today and actually go sailing. <laughs> Novel. It's so easy to come out here and just anchor and just be here and relax and honestly just kind of get lazy. So we just thought we'd, when we picked up anchor, we'd do a couple laps here off the engine, pure sail, and it's quite nice. There's not many people over here. We're just dodging the mooring balls. So it's pretty lovely. It's quiet. The wind's probably only five to seven knots. It's a really light wind right now. Wish that I could stay. our boat responds really well to steering. So we have a full keel on Spartina. 
very, it is a very heavy boat, but it is a large keel and we have a large rudder. Our boat actually responds really well. It's quite easy to sail. The rigging is easy yeah. and not complex. A sloop rig. Time to stow her away until the next time. And you can't put up a fight in the midst of life. Barrett collapses the main, secures the halyard to the boom, and raises it up out of the way for docking. Thanks so much for sailing with us today. We hope you're enjoying the ride as we jump from the land to the water, from the truck, motorcycles and dirt life, to the boat life and back around again. See you on the next turn. <laughs>